Fractal design cases have inspired modders all over the world who have built some amazing systems like this dark side themed case by George Priscellus showcasing the spacious internals in the Define S, or Metallic Acid, a mini ITX system by Justin Olson featuring a white, black, and red color scheme and a super clean layout in the Define Nano S. There are a ton more awesome builds like these on Fractal Design's modding series page, so check it out via the sponsor link in this video's description and get inspired for your next project. Excellent! So about a month ago, I posted a video about the state of the gaming PC market, and because it was awesome and everyone loved it, it now has 1.1 million views and counting. So naturally, I'm capitalizing on its popularity with a follow-up video and a counter arguments to my own original proposition that building a gaming PC sucks right now. No, I say to me from one month ago, building a gaming PC does not suck right now. Building a gaming PC is awesome right now, and here are four reasons why. First off, AMD. They have done all of us a solid this year by reintroducing Intel to the concept of competition. Ryzen has proven to be a popular and solid choice for budget and, it feels really good to say this, performance gaming PC builds, and the follow-up Threadripper launch was some really sweet icing on the cake, albeit not necessarily dedicated PC gaming hardware. There are now more viable CPU choices on the market than there have ever been before at the same time, and mainstream CPUs with six or eight cores and multi-threading arrived just in time for the rise in popularity of video game streaming to sites like Twitch or YouTube. Unfortunately, AMD's Vega launch didn't give NVIDIA quite the same kick in the pants as the Ryzen launch gave Intel, but we'll give them a pass since any GPU they actually launched this year was destined to sell out or be immediately marked up 300% anyway. Item number two is me. That's right, let's move on. Uh, no, building a gaming PC is awesome right now, of course, because of me, but also because of other YouTubers as well. I can't really take all the credit, but the fact is, if you want to learn how to build a computer yourself and you've never done it before, there's never been a better or easier time to pick up this hobby and get a system up and running. Apart from the well-produced generic how to build tutorials that will guide you through the basic steps, there are specific guides to walk you through assembly of a budget, mid-range or high-end rig with commentary on the quirks of specific computer cases, troubleshooting tips, or even walkthroughs for advanced techniques like custom liquid cooling and CPU delitting. Reason number three is VR. And I know for those of you who have decided that VR is lame or out of reach financially, this might not interest you right now, but it will soon, and the coolest VR experiences will be powered by gaming PCs. Sure, you'll find augmented reality apps that work on a smartphone that claim to be VR, but for actual VR gaming, you need the graphics processing power to push dual high resolution displays, one for each eye at 90 plus frames per second, which is not an easy task for a modern title. We're still a ways off from being able to power VR gaming experience from something like a smartphone so you can take it on the go with you, for now though, you'll probably find solutions that involve a backpack or a short range wireless connection to a desktop PC if you want to get away from the tethered cables that the original HTC Vive and Oculus Rift brought us. If you want to jack into a VR experience right now though, a gaming PC is the best way to get there, and I think we're gonna see more exciting VR options in 2018. And finally, reason number four is that we are winning. That's right, according to this single article that I found on the internet, which is beyond reproach, 56% of people who game spend most of their time gaming on a PC. And that makes sense, as PC gaming has become much more mainstream in the past five to 10 years, especially compared to consoles like Xbox and PlayStation. It is now more rare to see a delayed PC release of a game that's released earlier on consoles, as distributors recognize that PC gamers are now just a sizable portion of the game community as console gamers. If you're looking for more evidence of the continued success of PC gaming, look at the rise of eSports with massive TV and live stream audiences, packed arenas of screaming fans, and multi-million dollar prize pools. I mean, ESPN even has an eSports section on their website now. Soon the video games will probably overtake the sports ball in popularity, and somehow that will benefit us all. So guys, those are my four reasons why building a gaming PC is awesome right now. I just couldn't leave you on a down note for 2017, and I had to counter my negative video from last month with a positive one. Heck, I could go on. Here's four more reasons. Uh, the existence of PC part picker, Steam sales, uh, electric screwdrivers with lithium ion batteries, and uh, actually decent stock heatsink fans, uh, like the AM Ra AMD Wraith that we have here now. This is, I guess technically this could have been par part of reason one AMD, but I, I don't care. I'm giving you more reasons. Also, aren't you glad that none of my reasons were RGB lighting for this video? That was 
very intentional. Uh, also, again, I haven't even mentioned that it's Black Friday week right now, so right now, right now, is a great time to invest in some PC hardware marked down for the holiday sales. If you wanna help me out, feel free to click my links in the description down below before you shop. I'll post some links to some of my favorite parts and accessories that I've been using this year, as well as this handy electric screwdriver from Black & Decker with the lithium ion battery. Uh, also, if you're looking for ideas for parting out a new PC, choosing all of your CPU motherboard memory, uh, storage, uh, power supply case, and, and all that good stuff, check out my monthly build series. I'll put a link to that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more just like it. Uh, and let me know in the comment section what parts you're picking up this week uh, and, and if you got any great deals, uh, share those with people and, and maybe they can get the good deals too. Hit the like button on your way out if you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time.